hello friends in this video i will teach you the use of skip fish web application vulnerability scanner tool so first of all let's check its uh, various uh, check its uh, manual so type skip fish space dash h so whenever you you are learning any new tool you need to have a look at these parameters so because uh, these are very helpful and uh, some of these uh, options we are going to use in this uh, tutorial so the package i am going to use is this which stands for uh, use headers consistent with the msie firefox iphone then another parameter another option i am going to use is this uh, this dash key and there are others as well so uh, let me show you its a command first so just type skip fish dash o which is the name of the output folder where it will store the uh, results in a file so i will name it scan result and then name of and then name of your target website which is http in my case it is http uh, 192.168.1.5 slash utility d press enter press enter again so as you can see skip fish tool is doing its processing since this uh, le uh, let me let it uh, scan the website just wait for few seconds Uh, since this tool is going to take a lot of time so what i will do is i will press control c to cancel the processing and as you can see the report is saved to scan result slash index dot html so what i will do is i will go to this directory and i will open this file firefox index dot html so as you can see as you can see this is the result of uh, skip fish tool scanning so as you can see these are the vulnerabilities found by skip fish tool so the shown in red are high risk vulnerabilities and the vulnerabilities shown in yellow color are medium risk vulnerabilities and the vulnerabilities shown in blue are uh, low risk vulnerabilities and the rest are informational only so let me check this vulnerability which is a medium vulnerability so as you can see show uh, exercise vector in document body so if you click on show trace so it will show you the request it request it sent to the website and the response is got it uh, got from the website
so press escape in your keyboard to close this and uh, as you can see x powered by header is present in the response if you click here so this is the request sent by skip fish tool and uh, in response is got this x powered by header which mentions that it is a php website and its version is 8.1.4 so this information can be used by an attacker to to form a custom attack for the website so the website should not uh, send should not uh, send this information in the response so these are the vulnerabilities uh found by scriptfish tool let me close this file and let me show you another command let me first clear the terminal and show you another command so this time uh let me show you one thing apache access logs just wait few seconds i want to show you something i think that thing is not mentioned here let me show you the annual page man skip fish so let me come here yes you can use this dash b parameter to change the user agent of the file where this i stands for internet explorer f stands for firefox and p for iphone uh let this let uh just wait let the file open okay so finally thank god it opened so as you can see this is the user agent so if we uh, there are some there, there are some websites which uh, which have a different template for mobile and desktop clients so you can change this user agent by using this dash b parameter so let's see if i uh, let me change the name of the folder scanning this time i'm using this dash b parameter and uh, i'm using i'm spoofing the user agent of iphone so let me use this iphone user agent in the response user agent in the response so just press enter let me close this file first press enter again so this is skip fish tool is going to take a lot of time so i will again cancel the processing by typing control c and now uh yes uh, i will show you the access logs here i'll let the file open so what we have done here is we have changed our user agent we are in this time we are using the user agent of one iphone so 
the file is big that is why it is taking some time to open just wait few seconds Skipfish is also a very good uh, web vulnerability scanner. You can use this tool in your pen testing. It has uh, very good features. Okay, so finally the file has opened. So as you can see, this time the user agent is iPhone. In our uh, previous request, the user agent was this Mozilla. But this time, since we have changed our user agent, so it is showing that that uh, the requests are coming from an iphone so this is how you can customize your uh, requests in uh, skipfish tool okay let me show you the now the command i am going to show you is uh, I'm showing, going to show you another command. In the previous commands, we used to, since the Skipfish tool takes a lot of time for scanning, so we used to cancel the processing by typing Control C. So this time, what we are going to use is, so this time instead of uh, instead of typing control c what what we will what we are going to do is we are going to use this dash k parameter and uh, this 0 dash 0 1 and dash 0 so we will use it so this first one is for hours and this is for minute and this is for second so what is it what it this tells the this tells the skipfish tool that uh, scanning should be stopped after after uh, one minute so the skipfish tool will stop scanning the website after one minute automatically so just uh, press enter so as you can see time elapsed has uh, 11 12 seconds so after uh, 60 seconds the skipfish tool will stop processing so just wait for uh, another few seconds so this time we don't need to press the control c to stop the processing skipfish tool will automatically stop processing after one minute since we have mentioned it in the command so as you can see skipfish tool has automatically stopped processing after one minute since we have mentioned it in the command command okay so let me show you the results again uh, let me go to command go to the folder the result is stored in scanning one dot uh, slash index dot html file so what i will do is i will type size center so these are the vulnerabilities found by skipfish tool since we didn't uh, we did not allow the skipfish tool to scan the scan the target for more than one minute so this time it didn't find it did not find any uh, high risk vulnerabilities 
but if you allow the skipfish tool to scan the website for uh, ample amount of time it will definitely uh, fa find uh, some good uh, vulnerabilities for you so it is a very good tool so this is how you can tool you can use this skipfish tool in your printer